lady or gentleman, thank you so much for joining me on episode two of the corner seat. I'm so grateful. In case you're new here, I'm your host Rosita and Karibu Sana. Be sure to subscribe and do stay tuned. Today's episode, I have a very interesting guest. Maybe you've seen him, maybe you've not, but this person is a video director, a kingdom ambassador, a part-time comedian, and above all, an internationally acknowledged motivational speaker. Lady or gentleman, meet Sam West. Yeah. Let's do that uh, this again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it. One, two, two three. Yeah, Karibu Sana. Santi, thank you so it's much. It's such a pleasure to meet you. I'm so happy to. Karibu Sana, Karibu Sana. I always hear of Rosita. And I also hear about some West. People talk about Rosita in Nakuru, <laughs> everywhere. Really? Kangwa, you have to come and meet her. Finally, I, I'm happy. Uh, it's a pleasure for me. You look exactly how I visualized you. Really? <laughs> Asante, Saira. Yes. How are you doing? I am okay. Yeah. You know, we are just trying to navigate during this time of crisis. Yeah. But you know, during a time of crisis, people have to find ways of being creative. True. And you don't stop what you are doing. Yeah. Because there's corona. Yeah. You keep pursuing. Because there will be on. something. Before then, there were locusts. Yeah. We had corona. Mm -hmm. There might be politics. Yeah. You never stop what you're doing. You, you keep, keep pursuing. Yeah. The storms of life come, Exa but they keep, keep saving. coming. But as long as your eyes are trained on something, yeah. that's what you aim for. Awesome. Yes. How long have you been a motivational speaker? Now, uh, basically, I, I don't know. Actually, mm. I don't know. I think I started uh, speaking yeah. while I was younger. Yeah. Uh, my dad was a bishop, so being a pastor's kid, ah, pastor's sometimes. Pastor's kids in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, my son is here. Could you salam me watu? And then tunaena tunasalamiana. Mm. So initially I was not happy mm. because nashina ukiitwa mbele ya watu, you are not prepared, yeah. don't know what to say. Na unaitwa as a pastor's kid. As a pastor's kid. Ah. And then your pressure, mm. you need to act in a certain way. Yeah. And you're still young, you know, yeah. you still want to have fun like other people. Yeah. But now you have to behave like your dad. <laughs> you have to say hallelujah. You have to be and the then junior. And then you talk to him, wana sifiwe. So I was like, <laughs> really, really? <laughs> uh -huh. Anyway, but uh, I started doing motivational speaking, mm. I think, the last five years. Five years. But I've been, I've been very serious mm. the last three years. Mm. Uh, one of the things that happened is, just like every other young person, yeah. people are very confused about life, mm -hmm. and they're not really sure what they should be doing with themselves. Mm. Every young person you know out there yeah. is trying different things. Mm -hmm. Leo anauza skuma, kesho sijui anasikia computers zinauza haraka. Mm -hmm. Next thing anasikia watu wanaenda China, mm -hmm. anazunguka, anaenda China na rudi anasikia kuwa teacher. Kwanza yeah. university. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Mm -hmm. Mimi nimezunguka so many universities. Uh -huh. Ju lack of hiyo confusion exactly what should you be in life. Hiyo uh -huh. to understand purpose yako. Mm -hmm. And that is exactly what was happening with me. Mm -hmm. Like, I was admitted at Nairobi University, Chiromo campus, yeah. to study medicine and ah, surgery. You wanted to be a doctor? I was supposed to be a doctor. Like, that was your dream, Tangu Kiwa No, no. Eh. You, know, you know, the thing is, yeah. eh, this is something that we need to work on, especially as parents mm -hmm. and young people as well. Mm -hmm. People are so confused on what they should study yeah. because their minds are set mm. based on the cultures of our society. Let me tell you what happened eh? yeah, before yeah. I go back to when I started doing motivational speaking. Yeah. Uh, during the times of our show shows, mm -hmm. people used to choose careers, mm. ama courses in university, yeah. based on what their parents were doing. Yeah. If your parent was an engineer, you become an engineer. Become an engineer. Uh -huh. Just like the what the Hindis do. Mm. If you have a kashop, manini. Your son and inherit. Your son and inherit an yeah. yeah. But now what happened is mm. after people pursuing that route, mm -hmm. they realize they're not happy. They are yeah. not fulfilled. Because mm. at the end of the day, what matters in life yeah. is the, the feeling of fulfillment. Wow. Then that stopped. Yeah. My, ah, I used to do a quarter wazazi to a channel now. Yeah. Now they started saying, you know what? Mm. Now that is our show shows, now our parents now. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Then now they were choosing a course mm. based on money. Ah, How much money can paying? you make in that career? Mm. 
So, unaenda university unaambiwa eh hey, enda usomee hii. But then there's a time I was told yeah. go and study actuarial science. Iko na pesa. I totally understand. <laughs> I relate. Yeah. Mimi nitaka kufanya actuarial science yeah. because haina watu wengi na iko yes. na pesa. Now see. <laughs> now that is exactly what was happening. Yeah. So, me in Kambio by the way, mm. enda usomee udaktari. Mm. Is a lot of money. Mm. And then my dad used to fall sick a lot. Eh? Mm. So tunaambiwa you need a family doctor. Ah. At least mtu anaweza kuwa ki kitibu nini yeah. aki eh akimwatend no na wewe unaelewa hizi vitu so <laughs> ehe uh-huh. uh-huh. uh, but that phase also after what we pick careers mm. based on money then they realize they're getting the money but they are still not happy yeah. there's still no fulfillment so that changed mm-hmm. now our generation came mm-hmm. sisi tukasema as we are not going to look for the money as we are going to pursue passion wow so If I'm passionate about music, I'll pursue a career in music. music. If I'm passionate about uh, design and artworks, mm. interior what, so to that's, what that's what you do. But yeah. now what happens is mm. passions change. As you grow, mm-hmm. interests change. Okay. Now, but, uh, if you used to love something like football mm-hmm. and you want to do a career in football, then I realize, I mm-hmm. by the way, nimeanza kuchoka na hiyo interest, mm-hmm. nimeanza ku pick other interests. Mm-hmm. So now pata mm-hmm. you picked a career based on an interest that has dis- disappeared so what happens is hiyo career na kuchosha yeah now mm-hmm. if you cannot get fulfillment from a job from your parents mm-hmm. no fulfillment from a job from that brings you money yeah from passions then exactly where should you get your career from please tell us <laughs> <laughs> so now this is it yeah That's why people need to find out what is called purpose. Purpose. So people should pick a career mm-hmm. based on their purpose because purpose mm. is the intent or the reason why you are born. Wow. Each and every one of us was born for a specific reason. Mm-hmm. No one was born to pay bills every day of their lives. At kila siku ni kulipa rent, sijui kulipa nani. Ah ah, that is not why you are born. No one was born as a mistake. Mm-hmm. See at uko hapa Rosita unakaa hivi unasema you know what? Ni eh. nafanya hapa. Why am I in this my, world? Why was I born? Why was I born? Yeah. You're not here as a mistake. Wow. And you're not here as a mm-hmm. biological experiment. Mm-hmm. Ati wazazi walikutana wakasema mm-hmm. acha tujaribu eh. hapa kamtu kakatokea. <laughs> Ati sasa uh-huh. let me tell you. Yeah. Even the kids that are born out of a wedlock. Mhm. Ama the kids that people call mistakes mm-hmm. so mommy i just got pregnant by mistake i didn't wo- you mm-hmm. are not pregnant by mistake mm-hmm. that child kama mezaliwa mm-hmm. they are here for a reason yeah so now the question is this mm-hmm. people keep asking themselves mm-hmm. why are they here you see it's like uh it's a, it's like going for a trip yeah for instance rosita if i told you i wanted to go to nairobi mm-hmm. what is the first question you'll ask me oh why exactly Uh, you should always ask yourself why. why. Can I tell you a quick story? Yeah. So one day, mimi ni mtu wa huku na kuru eh, watu wa mashinani. Hata accent tunasikia ni ya huku. Kuna accent kweli. But mimi, my accent came from Nyahururu. So ukisikia ma s, ma ma m in the wrong places na ma n. There's a song I used to love in high school. Yeah. I used to sing babika babika na hii goma noma <laughs> then I, guys used to laugh and I'm wondering why are you laughing kumi hakuna em in my babika babika <laughs> anyway this is what I'm saying eh? this is what I'm saying one day my dad asked me Sam mm-hmm. I want you to go to Nairobi very early in the morning mm-hmm. and akanipatia 500 ilikuwa jioni 500 shillings go to na, na, Nairobi mm-hmm. and he told me I'll tell you what you'll be doing in the morning mm-hmm before wende mm-hmm. talk to me mm-hmm. i give you the directions mm-hmm. so in the morning i woke up yeah. and i was very very keen mm-hmm. on going to nairobi kwa sababu mnajua watu wana huko mashinani wakisikia wanaenda nairobi so it's an exciting thing yeah. and then i was very new in nairobi mm-hmm. so nikasema mm-hmm. eh kama kama pema mapema kabisa mapema kindly a minute hey sawa thank Aina you for shiza. our coffee santi this one is mocha okay Thank you. Thank you. Need sugar? Yes, we are here. Santi. You have take away school. All right, no problem. No problem. Really. Yeah, I just put it over here, it's okay. Yeah.
Can I have as I talk? Yeah, you okay. can. It's all awesome. right. Awesome. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. Good coffee. So, <laughs> I was very excited. I'm going to Nairobi. Mm. So, in the morning, I woke up. Yeah. And then I checked in my dad's bedroom. Hakwa mm. meamuka. Kasema stamu wa msha. Ni bad manners. Kuingia uko. So, nikasema, let me do this. Simi kono miya tano. Wacha niende. Wacha niende. Uh -huh. Nikifika alkozi. Niulize. Uliko anataka nifaja nini na robi. <laughs> so, ndiyo mimi. So, right there in the morning, yeah. I first kasema, I have 500 shillings. Ata stena na matatu za kawaidi, ata chukua shuttle. Shuttle ni 400 shillings. Uh -huh. So, ndiyo mimi all the way straight Nairobi. to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So, when I go to Nairobi, yeah. so I have 100 shillings. Yeah. I decided to call my dad. Mm. Hello? He's not picking up. Mm. It's around now 10, 11 ish. Yeah. I started calling him. And I wondered, why is he not picking up? What's up with him? Mm -hmm. So, Nkasema, mm. since he made Ropi, Wakaribu na Tiro, Minarobi, Wacha Ningia, Nikunyo Echai, na Mkate, as I wait for him. He uh -huh. kitu 12. By He's two. not here. He's not picking. Yeah. So, I started getting stranded. What do I do now? And Nisha to me, I said, 50 bob. I don't have money to go back home. Mm. So I thought, I have a friend of mine who has a cyber in the middle of Nairobi. Let me go and talk to him. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to to the lunch. I'll buy you lunch. Can I buy you a lunch? Mm -hmm. Next thing, I'm going to say, hey, I need to go. I'm still trying to call this dad of mine. He's hey. not picking. Yeah. Yun kitu saa nane saa tisa. Ala. Unaza ni saidia na miambili sasa staida na shato. Nene na hizi kawaida. Unanyanyekea. Unanyanyekea. Please tunataka kurudi tu home. So he tells me. Yeah. Sam. Sina yo pesa. But nikona kamzigo. Nikona faikwe delivered on the other side of town. If you can take it for me. Yeah. Utapewa 200. Then that guy. So mimi ni kajikuwa mzigo. Ni kangangana na yo. You know how difficult it is. Yeah. Kwa mzigo. Nairobi. Nairobi. Afu na ugopa ni taibiwa. Nikona na wachizijui Nairobi half-life. Venya watu wa naibiwa. Kasi ma uwe 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 uwe. Hapa. Ni kubaya. Ni mengangana na yo mzigo ni meenda enda. Kafika. Kafika huko mkambia the guy. Ah, sasa nimeleta mzigo. Nimeleta mzigo. Nimeleta. Sasa sifanya hivyo. Nimeleta nifanya nini? Siniko mbo utanipia pesa? Oh, nikuwa mesa hawa ayashika. I was given 200. Yeah. Ndiyo mimi street kwa matatu. Karudi. Nisa saa za kusikumana hivyo. Kafika home. Kufika na pata maidada melalia kwa coach. Na naungia na simu na nacheka. And I looked at him and I was there. Really? Really? Would you do this to your son? Why would you do this to me? Nambia, you made one big mistake, Sam. You didn't ask why. You should have asked, why are you going to Nairobi? Uh, yeah, that yeah, is the yeah, biggest yeah. mistake. And this is what happens. If you decide to go somewhere, mm -hmm. without knowing why, you get confused while you're there. And then you start taking any jobs that comes your way. Ooh, now this is what wow. we do. Yeah. People are here on a trip. Mm -hmm. They're here in this world. Mm -hmm. The Bible says we are in this world, but we are not of this world, which mm -hmm. means we are here on a trip. Yeah. But when you come here, mm -hmm. what people do, yeah. Wanazaliwa, wanaona hei, watoto wanalia, unawaza kulia. Kaka unasema, ayo, watoto wanaenda shule, unaenda shule. Kaka unasema, hei, watu huku pia, wanafanya maharusi, unatafuta mtu, unafanya kaharusi. Kaka unasema, ayo, watu unatafuta kazi, look for a job. Next thing, unasema, hei, pato watoto, unapato watoto. The next thing, you build a house, jimu ya na watu, unyuna wakiunda nyu? Wakiunda. And you do exactly what other people are doing. But you forget, you are not sent here to get married, have children. Kujenga manyumba, siju kufanya kazi gani. People, that's why people find life to be so difficult and frustrating because of one good thing. They were not keen on finding the reason why they are here. So one of the key things I keep telling people, that's why I keep saying I'm a kingdom ambassador. People should pursue their purpose. They should figure out why am I here? Because there is no manufacturer yeah. that creates a product mm -hmm. without its purpose. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, the person who created this phone, yeah. they first had a purpose mm -hmm. for the phone, yeah. and then they created the product. Whew. Now, you are not created before your purpose. Mm -hmm. Your purpose came first, and, and then, then you. you. That's what the Bible says, I knew you before you were born, born which means your purpose existed prior. But how many people take time to ask themselves, what is my purpose? 
that's where there's confusion. Unanza kazi. Most of my friends are jumping from one job to another. They normally tell people, mm -hmm. try and, and have a purpose-driven life, fueled by a vision, oiled by compassion, Ooh. and propelled by offense. Hey. Try it. Lazima, people need to find out exactly uh, what is their purpose. You know, in purpose, yeah. no one can fire you. Mm. But in a job, you can be, you fired, be fired. And you know, replaced anytime. Exactly. The Bible says the mm -hmm. gifts of the Lord are irrevocable, which means they are yours. Mm. And this is something that was inbuilt and it's inborn and it's yours from you. So, when did you discover that you don't want to do medicine? You want to do motivational speaking after getting so confused and doing so many wrong things yeah. i i i was in usiu i did mm -hmm. bachelor of business mm -hmm. notice that's what i want i quit after one semester i went to do become uh -huh. kabete campus mm -hmm. i quit again mm -hmm. I, I quit medicine for one week one, one week one week one week but you one week yeah there's a treat with come home with come is on as a treat eh? <laughs> and then yeah. in Australia, I studied international business. Mm. After one year, I also quit again. So all these rounds you are making while you trying to find your purpose. I was trying to find your pap my yeah. purpose. Yeah. And that's what most people are doing. Mm. Because they are trying to find something. Yeah. And they're not able to find it. But purpose mm. is not to be found through things. Mm -hmm. You know what? Mm -hmm. Each and every one of us yeah. is born with purpose within ourselves. Mm -hmm. You're looking for something from without, yet it's within. It's, within. it's right there. It's waiting for you. Ooh. You just need to tap it and lock it and bring out the best in you. What? So, and, and, and you know what happens is, because one of the biggest questions is, I yeah. tell people, mm -hmm. if you really want to find your purpose, mm -hmm. connect with your creator, your manufacturer. Mm -hmm. The person who knows the, what this phone can do yeah. is only the people who built this phone. Yeah. Whenever a manufacturer is creating a product, yeah. they don't create it to fail. They create it to succeed. Wow. So when you were born, yeah. you are not born to fail. You are born to be successful. And if you're failing, mm -hmm. there's an element of you violating your purpose. But now this is what happens. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. Success is mm -hmm. predictable yeah. and failure is predictable. Ah. Yeah, both of them are predictable. Uh -huh. The difference is in the rules and the laws that are inbuilt mm -hmm. in your product. So this is what happens. Every product mm -hmm. comes with its own set of rules. Yes. And if you violate those rules, mm -hmm. it malfunctions. If okay. you adhere to the rules, yes. you succeed. Now, let me give you examples. If you violate the rules that are inbuilt, mm -hmm. it malfunctions. Give me a good, let me give you a good example. Yes. A car, yeah. like your car right here. Yeah. If one day, you see, each car has been built with a rule. Mm -hmm. This car, mm -hmm. if it's not a Tesla, that is, yeah. this car mm -hmm. functions with unleaded fuel, I'm a diesel. Yes. Yes. If you decide to violate that rule yeah, yeah. and decide, mm. but then you make a fuel, kesho, kesho natan you make a chai, <laughs> I'm a e coffee, I'm a e coffee, kwe yo gari. Guess what will happen? Hey. The car will not move from yeah. where you are, yeah. no matter how much you pray. Mm. Atta when you find your praying and fasting, you say, "Me, Igari, that's my tongue, that's my song." We are moving. You know how to warm up, Kigonga, Mukuta. Hey, man, hey, man, on a pig and duro, one. The thing is this: yeah. Why would you violate a rule mm -hmm. and then expect? You know, these rules were created by God, yeah. and God never changes. Yeah. He's the same yesterday, today, today, and tomorrow. So the rules He puts in they never mean. change. Yeah. So what people should understand mm -hmm. is. What are the rules mm. of me succeeding? Wow. In fact, the wisest people in the world yeah. are the ones who figure out mm. what are the principles yeah. of me being a successful person. Because you know what God does? Mm -hmm. I think it's in Isaiah 43 that where God swears to himself. Mm -hmm. He says, 
I am God. Mm -hmm. There is none like me. Yes. And then he says something about you. He mm -hmm. says, mm -hmm. I set the end mm -hmm. before the beginning. Yes. Which means mm -hmm. he finishes you first before. and then he starts you. Ah, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, your yeah. end is yeah. already finished. What? So if, you, if you've started, it's yeah. evidence you've finished. Okay. Which means you're supposed to be successful. Wow, wow. Yani the nuggets that have been shared <laughs> today. Yo, yo. I want us to take a short break. Okay, that's fine. So that we can at least have a sip of our coffee. And if you're still watching, please be sure to subscribe. I'm your host, Rosita. or gentlemen we are back i hope you enjoyed the food segment courtesy of origin coffee house here at golden life mall and remember if you're in akuru you can make your orders via glovo munchies or pick it and they are going to be sure to deliver the order to you so we are back on this second part of the episode Thank you so much for your time. Karibu. Yani the Karibu. things you're sharing with us. Yes. <laughs> now, Juliza, why did they write questions? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Eh? Yeah. You Normally, know, we talk with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And when we discuss about purpose, they yeah. feel like they've wasted a lot of their time. Mm. Because people should know, I believe every human being yeah. should know their purpose by the age of 12. 12? By the time you're 12 years, you should be knowing what your life is supposed to be. Look yeah. at Jesus. Uh -huh. He was only 12 years. Mm. Amepotea, kukusijiki, wakanisa. Wazazi wame mtafta two days. Can you imagine two days? Yo, mtoto wakapotea utafanya ni. Mutena police station, post kwa social media, kia FB. Guys, Teacher, my child is missing. Person. Na trend, saidieni. Talk mm. to everyone. Then finally wakakutana na Jesus. And then you'd expect mm. Jesus and say, Oh, Imam, Poleni, I was in my father's I, house. Didn't you know I was in the business of my father? I was at the age of 12. Let me tell you, uh -huh. this is why I'm saying the society has confused our audiences. Mm. Who said mm -hmm. that you should know your purpose at 18 years when you become By an adult? By 12 adult. years, you should know exactly what your life is about. What? So that you start pursuing it. Mm -hmm. You know, purpose, by the way, young kids yeah. or people who are in their teenage years, mm -hmm. or even younger, yeah. you'll know, if you ask them what do you want to be, mm -hmm. they always know. They always know that deep within themselves, I want this is what this. I would like my life to be about. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. as parents, you always tell them, no, mm -hmm. stop saying that. I want you to be this. Hey, I'm talking about my mimi, daddy, I want to become the president of this country. Mm. Hi. Who is Kia Wapi? Who is Kia Wapi? Who is Kia Wapi? Every child out there mm. knows exactly what, what their want. purpose is supposed to be. They mm. call them dreams. Mm -hmm. There are people who call them visions. Yeah. But you know, a vision mm. is purpose in pictures. Mm. If you can see something, you know, I tell people, we normally do sessions because I do a lot of mentorship for young people. Yeah. Because uh, I notice there's a lot of confusion. Mm. And if you have this information, mm. it helps you mm -hmm. even figure out what your life is. Is because you know a vision. Yeah. A vision is like uh, where you're headed to. After you went to Australia yeah. and came back to Kenya, what yeah. did you do? So this is what happened. Yeah. I always had a big vision mm -hmm. of doing. I think this thing has always been within me mm -hmm. of wanting to pass mm -hmm. the messages, especially of the kingdom, mm -hmm. which are inclined to purpose, yeah. to masses. Wow. So in 
I, I have felt propelled I need to look for a space or a mm -hmm. platform mm -hmm. that can help me reach as many people. Mm -hmm. So what I did, I pursued to get a radio station. Oh, really? So immediately when I came, I started a radio and never went back to Australia. Tell us about the radio. <laughs> the radio is a, it's a good platform. Yeah. It's a long story. It's mm -hmm. uh, involved a lot of trying and mm -hmm. pursuing and especially getting a license is yeah. really a long task. Yeah. And, and it involved even me getting into a field I had no information, no expertise about. But purpose was driving purpose you. Purpose was driving me in that, in that direction. So one of the things I tell people, once, yeah. once you find your purpose, mm -hmm. by the way, it's very easy to know your purpose. Mm -hmm. First, connect with your creator. And mkai vinaye na your creator. Muambia kuambie, ulimileta hapa kwa By the way, he speaks, he's so loud. Mm -hmm and it's within you. He gives you desires. Yeah. Once notice, there are things you enjoy. Mm -hmm. There are things you are very good at. Yeah. Then he gives you gifts. Mm -hmm. Each and every one of us, yeah. I think it's in Romans, has mm -hmm. been given a gift to do some things really well. True. If your gift is in encouraging, encourage. encourage. If your gift is in teaching, teach. teach. If your gift is in mercy, mm, so give mercy. generously. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So everyone, Hakuna mtu hana gift, yeah. hata wewe. And then the good part is, mm -hmm. your gift is irrevocable. Wow. No one can take it away. That's why I told you with the work, yeah. no one can fire you. Mm. You don't retire from work. Yeah. Because this is what you are born to do. Until Ooh. the day you die, that's the, <laughs> that's the day you stop pursuing your gift. Wow. And, and, and even the Bible says that mm. gifts open doors for you. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't, but they, this is one of the things people should understand. Yes. If you don't focus on your giftings, mm -hmm. They are like tools. You can know your purpose based on your tools as well. Ah. If you wake up one morning, mm -hmm. what are you supposed to do? To go and farm and Hello, lima. farm. Mm. Kika wone pawaso. Nenda na kata Hello, miti. Kata miti. Yeah. So look within yourself. There are gifts that you have. Wow. Those are tools. And that should tell you exactly what you should be doing in this world. Rather than mm. being confused here and there. Mm. Now, the other thing I keep telling people, once yeah. you discover your purpose, mm -hmm. and I think this is now what happened with me and the radio station, Yes. you should be very passionate. And passion, mm -hmm. not the normal passion that we talk about. Yeah. Passion in this sense, mm -hmm. a desire greater than death. Ooh. Find that one thing, mm -hmm. one thing yeah. that you can die for. Most people say, I have found something to live for. But what? how many have found something to die, to for. die for? Six mil. <laughs> mm. You see, this is what, and I keep telling people, only one thing. You know, mm -hmm. supposed to do many things. There's a time Jesus visited two beautiful girls. Mm -hmm. One of them, I was Mary. Yeah. I was Martha. Martha. And then Martha was in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And she was in the kitchen, wife material. Eh? Then Mary na Yesu, and then mother kakuja kuzusha. Yeah. Ah, Yesu, acha hizo. Uyu Mary kwa nini amekaa Ah, this is not fair, Jesus. This is fair. I think alikuwa na si kama alikuwa na nickname ya Jesus. The answer that Jesus gave Mary is what you should learn from. One thing is required. Martha, you're so busy about many things. And only one thing is required. At there's a time Paul said the same thing. I am allowed. I am permitted mm. to do all things, mm -hmm. but not all things mm -hmm. benefit me. Yeah. I tell people, pick one thing and master it. Wow, be a pro. No, I have to sort of introduce you. I had a long list. Mm -hmm. There's a time I was an EDM DJ in Kangoa. There's a time I was doing what in Kangoa, entertainer in Kangoa. No, I say part time comedian Maliko. I can chase her. It's a new kid. So, <laughs> yeah. wow. There's someone who said, yeah. if you build a very nice house, then you remember you the best house. I love you, Jenge. Kwa kwa kichaka kabisa. People will find pads to look for that house. Mm -hmm. Wherever you are, tapatawa. Don't like this show you're doing. Yeah. If you do it really well, mm 
you'll find guys coming from across nations, my Chinese, mm. Indians, any just mm. to come and get interviewed on this show. Wow. Pick that one thing and yeah. refine it. These stories are just doing it on a side hustle. I don't know side hustle. So you can focus on that one thing. Yeah. Look at some of the greatest people in the world. Mm -hmm. They were known for one thing. Mm. Jesus was known for redeeming the world. Yeah. Side hustle like a little one in carpenter and a babake. No, no. Uh, people like uh, Paul, Peter, mm, people mm. like Moses. Mm. We knew them for one thing, rescuing yeah. the children of Israel. Focus yeah. on one, one thing. thing. People like Joseph in mm. the Bible. People mm. like at a recent leaders. Mm. Martin Luther King. What was yeah. he known for? He, one thing. Yeah. Look at people like uh, Messi. Mm. Ronaldo. What are you talking about? Football. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. One uh -huh. thing. Tiger Woods and Julia Nini. One Go. thing. Jay Z. Mm. One thing. So mm. the, all I'm trying to say. Yeah. If you focus on one thing mm. and pursue it, then be ready to die for it. Yeah. Be so passionate you can die for you it. You can die for it. Jesus was ready to die for his one thing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Never measure the success. Yes. of your purpose based on people's praises yes. because if you do that mm -hmm. they will turn against you and yes. you feel you're failing moses mm. was willing to go to egypt mm. Kofarao, Manya, Mexica, Watoto, mm. and he was willing to die wow. people like peter yeah. peter and anibamba mm. stop preaching this message of the kingdom mm. ama will kill you know what mm. he did mm -hmm. he continued on a mshika on a prison like a prison and then he hey. never stopped. Paul, the same thing. Nelson Mandela said the same thing. Mm -hmm. The ideals I have, if it means dying, I'm okay with it. I'm ready. Abraham Lincoln, the guy who fought slavery in the US, mm. he did the same thing. He said similar words. He's willing to lay his life. Mm. Now the question is, what is that one thing, Rosita, that you would die for? Now we have so many people who are watching, and maybe they have found their purpose. Lakini Shida wanasema ni moja, capital. Now oh, listen, this is what, this is what happens. Eh? Yeah. Once you identify your potential, mm -hmm. your giftings, mm -hmm. this is God never gives you a purpose mm -hmm. without provision. Ah, wow. God never demands something mm -hmm. that he can't provide. Okay. This is what the Bible says. Eh? Yes. Now once there's another principle they're missing, that's mm -hmm. why maybe they don't have the capital. Mm -hmm. You see, I told you success mm -hmm. is predictable yes so there are rules you should follow mm. it's even for a seed mm -hmm. to become a tree it has to be put underneath the soil yeah. and go through a process mm. as well okay, there has to be oxygen yeah. has to be moisture mm. there has to be the soil and then it's going to shoot and become a tree yeah now this is what I keep telling people mm. understand the process of going where you are going now look at it eh? mm -hmm. there is a principle called planning Planning. And this principle is very important mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. planning is the root mm -hmm. of the distance between where you are yeah. and where you want to be. Wow. Now, I'm here in Akuru. Yeah. I want to be in Nairobi. Yes. What do I need to do? I need to plan. Yeah. I need to come up with, with the route. Mm -hmm. You say, me, by the way, mm. I need to go to Nairobi. How will I go? Mm. I have several options. Yeah. I can either decide to walk. Mm. I can either decide to take a tuk-tuk. Yeah. I can either decide to craft a matatu. Yeah. I might look for a self-drive. Yeah. I might fly. Yes. The people who go, you can fly. Uh, Mingi, you yeah. can fly. Yeah. So, uh, once you figure out the roots mm. and plan it and actually write it down, mm -hmm. every vision yeah. requires to be written. The Bible says mm. they were told to write down their visions. Mm -hmm. So you need to write down, this is where I want to go, and this is the structure, and this is how it needs to be done. Once you have planned, mm. the rest is not yours. Mm. This is what the Bible says, I think it's in Proverbs 19. Yeah. The plans of the heart belong to man. And the reply belongs to God. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to plan. Yes. And then God is going to reply it. Wow. Until you plan, God has nothing to reply. Yeah, yeah, in right. fact, there's a part he says, commit your plans mm. to him mm. and he will establish your steps. So if there's nothing you've planned, if you've not planned anything, there's nothing to be established. There's nothing for God to do. Atta, what are you going to pray for? <sighs> if there's no plan, if like for instance you want to start a business, it's mm. simple. First thing, mm. license. Yes. So you plan, license. Mm. Uh -huh. What else? I need to have a, a, a venue, a shop. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So location. Andika down. Andika is all details. 
Uh -huh. Then you andika. What else do I need? Staff members. Yeah. How many do I need? Andika. Uh, material, supplies, andika. You know, you have to plan it, plan it. Yeah, then you start okay. asking yourself, mm. where will I get money mm. to? For this. No, what, that's what you pray for. Ah. But don't tell God, you know, Mimi, mm. I want to have this big company. Yeah. And there's no plan. Wow. Let me give you another verse that will surprise you. Uh -huh. This is what it says. Mm -hmm. And to him who is able to do, I think it's Ephesians 3.20. Yeah, 320. Exceedingly. Yes. Abundantly. abundantly more than you can ever imagine. ask, think, or imagine. He can't do exceedingly yeah. until you first ask, think, or you first, you know, thinking you is planning. To, oh. You have to imagine first. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So without imagining, there's yeah. nothing. God so has you to exist. imagine and then God does beyond your imagination. Now he does beyond. Now that's a good part about God. Ooh. He does beyond. Come on, come imagine. Utanzisha biashara ya 10,000. Yeah, na imagine eh. a million. Mm. That's why God surprises people. And yeah. that's what you go and pray for. Mm. So the first thing, have a plan. Okay. Figure out this is what I want. Second mm. thing, mm. hey, mm -hmm. you need to identify. And you know, it has to be purpose. If it's not God's purpose, it's mm -hmm. not going to prevail. I think there's a verse that also says, mm -hmm. uh, many other plans in a man's heart, but, but only the, the purpose of God. Only God's purpose prevails. Prevail. So if it's not God's purpose, yeah. it's not going to prevail. So you notice when you shida, then mm -hmm. ask yourself, God, what is eh, happening? Eh. Maybe this thing is not aligned to my purpose. Mm -hmm. There are many businesses I've started, but there's mm -hmm. a lot of I've started apps. Uh, after, but then, I used to have a screen in town, mm -hmm. to advertise, mm -hmm. I used to advertise, I used to have a theater in Nyahururu, I used to have a studio in movies, I used to have a studio in recording in Nyahururu, I used to have a newspaper. Zote I had a newspaper. I used to sell computers in Nairobi, I used to sell computers in Nairobi. Do you know why? Mm -hmm. Many other plans in a man's heart. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but only <laughs> God's purpose prevails. So okay. if whatever you are doing is not aligned to God's purpose, yeah. in a chapa chin. Okay. But whatever is aligned to his purpose, it, in a, it opens. Mm. And then the, one, one thing eh, mm. to know if a purpose is from God. Yeah. Keep asking me. Mm. But then people, some people call it vision. Mm. You know, it's a dream. Yeah. One way to know if a vision mm is from God. A vision is not an ambition. These are two different things. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ambition mm -hmm. is self-oriented. It's just for you. It's like something you want. But a vision yeah. is others-oriented. It's oh. meant to meet the needs of other people. What God finances mm. is visions. Mm. And people are attracted to visions. Mm. And that's what happens. People, even the banks, mm. they don't finance people. Yeah. They finance visions. I have this business, I yeah. want it to look like this. Yeah. Oh, okay, here's the money. Even donors, they don't give people money. Yeah. Even the even IMF, you must give up hey, can you spare can you nine on your vision? That's one trick people don't know. People need to understand. If you are seeking for money, yeah. Go show people your vision. Mm. A vision should be something that improves humanity, yeah. something that lifts the downtrodden, mm. something that elevates lifestyles, wow. something that makes life better mm. for everyone. Yeah. So then I've also learned a lot of business mm. and, and I've learned that God wants us to be successful. And there are, there are things that you should try. No, this is business, Kidogo. Yes. You should try, whenever you're setting up a business, mm. Make sure the structure is not set to fail. And I think there are some businesses I started mm. that were meant to fail. You see, mm. you, failure is what? Predictable. predictable. So I, there's one thing in Genesis 28.1. Mm. Yeah. Uh, is it 128? 128, sorry. Mm -hmm. It says this. Mm -hmm. One of the things is God wants us to be successful. Yeah. And it says take dominion. Have dominion. Rule. Mm. Dominion means to rule, mm. to be in charge, yeah. governorship, yes. management, and yes. all that. Mm -hmm. One thing, there's an area that says, mm. go into the world, mm. be fruitful. Alaf nasema, multiply, yes. fill the earth, subdue. Those oh. are four principles that if any business followed, mm -hmm. it's going to be successful. Being fruitful means you need to come up with something that will help people, will meet the needs of people. Mm -hmm. The other stage is multiply. Mm -hmm. So you create the same fruit, yeah. but now many of them. 
Then right. after you have finished mm -hmm. going to multiplication, yes. you need to go to stage number three. Guess what is that stage? Fill the earth. And then now what happens if you have a fruit, mm. you multiply it, yeah. and you distribute it, yeah. something happens to you. You take over. You subdue. Whoa. People who follow these principles yeah. don't compete in the market. They dominate in the market. Woo. <laughs> hey. Repeat. Yeah, and you're not there. You are dominating. Now, those are the things I keep telling even in businessmen. We normally do such sessions yeah. where we teach businessmen mm. about godly principles that they can follow mm. to ensure that their businesses become successful as well. Wow. Mm. But then there's a loan I applied. Mm. Kai, hey, I just your story. I applied. Uh -huh. I wanted a meter. But I knew it was God's purpose. Mm -hmm. Imagine they asked me, Mono Chikwe Mita Mbini? You're Dabu, going for Dabu. a Mita Unambiwa Chikwe Mbini. Kasawa, hey, 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 Koshua, Koshua, Prasaino Wafi. So, what I'm trying to say is this yeah. anytime you align to God's purpose, He exceeds. Mm. Okay. The, the last one now. Yeah, yeah. So, now once you've planned, mm. You need to figure out two other things. Mm. There are several other principles I could talk. Next yeah. time, Kinita and Takumalizia. Let's man The other principles eh. we talk, eh? yeah. and I think I was teaching it to a few mentors. There are a few mentors I do with, mm. and I was telling them that they need to have another principle called uh, place and people. Place and people. Yes, mm -hmm. and there's still another one I'll still talk about. Mm -hmm. So you need to figure out whether you're in the right place. Mm. Your environment matters. Wow. Before God creates a product, mm. he creates the environment first. Before he created the fish, he created the oceans wow. first. Before he created the birds, he created the atmosphere first. So anytime you wow. remove a product from its environment, it malfunctions. If you remove the fish from the oceans, it malfunctions. The birds from the air, they malfunction. Mm -hmm. If you remove a seed from the soil and put it on the floor, it dies. The mm -hmm. same thing. Mm -hmm. Men are struggling mm. because they have left the presence of God. Wow. Sometimes your place mm. may be stifling you, where you are, your environment. Sometimes you could be locked up in your job and you're feeling like life is not happening because you've locked yourself up in a job. Mm. And then what is happening is this. You, you think when you get fired, mm. you start thinking God hates you. And God is trying to get you away from your environment so that, so that you can grow. You need to be in the book of Genesis, there's a place Abraham was mm. told, mm -hmm. leave your country, leave your place. Mm. Joseph would not have been mm -hmm. a king in Israel. He wow. had to leave and go to Egypt. And the same thing happens. Some people are locked up mm. even in relationships. You yeah. think you're in a marriage. Mm. You're stifled. It's because you're in the wrong environment. Sometimes the circle of friends you are in, sometimes it's even your place. The richest man in the world right now, Elon Musk, mm -hmm. he was stifled in South Africa. He had to leave his place mm. and go the way to America for him to become the richest man. Wow, a lot has been shared on today's episode. I hope you are taking notes. I believe there is something you have picked from somewhere that has changed your life and I believe this was not in vain, Kabisa. Maybe you feel like there's something, but do just say a parting shot as we come to the end of the episode. People should pursue mm -hmm. to live a purpose-driven life, yeah. uh, fueled by visions and oiled by compassion mm -hmm. and propelled by offense. When I mean offense, I mean, you see like in football, mm -hmm. There are people who are always on the defense ah, and others on the on offense, the which means be the one who makes life happen. Mm. Don't do things because life has made you to happen in oh. a certain way. Be the one who is in control wow. and in charge of your life. Wow. Pursue and go for what you are born to be. You are born to be a ruler, mm -hmm. born to dominate, mm -hmm. and born to be in charge. Wow. Hey, I'm going to write that statement and pin it on my bedroom wall. Yeah. Oiled by... Compassion. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Thank I'm you. so grateful. Yeah. I really appreciate so much you've taught. We would have continued if we had more time, but yeah. we don't. But I really appreciate your time. Asante sana. You're welcome. Lady or gentleman, that was some West for you. I believe Kunakitu may pick from him. 
and if there's something you picked please make sure to comment down below and perhaps you do have a question for him tafadhali be sure to comment down below i'm your host rosita until next time bye guys